Okay, welcome back to the next system test with the Firelight Addressable Fire Alarm Control System and the Wheelock Mass Notification Speaker System. In this test, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about what voice evacuation systems do. We're going to be demonstrating a fire alarm and I'm going to be demonstrating this general emergency signal. So this system that I've created is a very high-tech system. This is usually something you would see on a bigger building with multiple levels. So instead of evacuation by horn signals, like on most fire alarm systems, this system has evacuation by speakers, by voice commands paging throughout the building, kind of like a PA system. So the speakers are actually inside of the fire alarms, and let's say a fire alarm event comes up or an emergency event comes up, what these systems can do is they can play pre-recorded messages telling you exactly what the emergency is and how to react. So these systems don't only communicate more information to the occupants of the building when an emergency happens, but if you choose, you can evacuate the building by certain sections at a time or only evacuate a part of the building. And that's what makes these systems really great for larger facilities. So for this system, I have the Firelight MS9200 UDLS as my main fire alarm control panel. I have it wired so that this exact system right here powers all the strobes on the fire alarms and is uh, wired into all of the initiating devices and the enunciator as well as all the modules. This is the Cooper Notification SPMNS SafePath Mass Notification System. It's basically a big amplifier. And when this system receives an alarm signal, it communicates to the amplifier what kind of signal it is, and then the amplifier will send the correct series of messages or tones to the speakers that are throughout the building. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. We'll pull a fire alarm and then we'll see this panel activate and then we'll see this panel activate. Here we go. That's the Firelight BG12LX pull station. has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit. So what I did there is I went ahead and silenced the alarm by pushing the alarm silence button. And what that did is it told the Wheelock Safe Path to stop playing the tones and messages throughout the speakers. Now we're gonna pretend that there's still a fire emergency, so that's why the strobes are still flashing. The alarm is only silenced and not reset yet. As you can see, this is an addressable fire alarm system. And what that means is even though all these devices are on one circuit, it can tell the difference between this pull station, this pull station, and this smoke detector. So I pulled this pull station and it recognized that it was on the uh, floor three office. To reset this pull station, just put the key in, open it, and then close it. This is the addressable module, and then you see this light turned on when the pulse station is pulled, while the others just normally blink. And now we can go ahead and reset the entire system just by pushing the reset button. You don't have to push it. You could push the reset button on this, which is the fire alarm control panel, but I'm gonna push it on this. This is a manual enunciator. This basically allows you to control basic parts of the fire alarm system without being at the fire alarm control panel. This is very nice because if there's a fire uh, in between you and the control panel, you can just go to the enunciator and work it from there. So on this system, I also wired in and programmed in a general emergency feature. And that's really nice when you need to evacuate the building, but it's not a fire emergency because you don't want to be sending mixed signals through the strobes in the fire alarm system. So let's say there's a bomb threat or there's a uh, gas leak or something going on throughout the building and you need to evacuate the building. I programmed in this feature where you just push this emergency push station. The alert strobe will begin to flash, not the fire strobe. And the speakers, not the strobes, the speakers will start playing an emergency evacuation message and tones. So that's all wired in through this and this and we're going to see it in action. So here we go. Please, an emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please 
please leave the building and report to the designated assembly area for your group. That's a really nice feature. Alright, that's the video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day everyone.